Hi everyone, in this Windows Phone Developer tutorial I will show you how to change an icon of your app. Here is the result. You can see that application under name app name has black star for an icon. The default is white sun like shape. If I press down on the app, I can pin the app to the start screen. Here you can see custom icon, headphones in this case. The default icon is again white sun. Also the text on this tile is changed to string, I have changed this. Ok, now you know what we will be covering in this tutorial. If you are interested, stick around and see how to do this. As you may know, my app Speed Couch is published on Windows Phone Store. You can run it on Windows Phone 7 and 8. If you like this tutorial, please consider buying my app. Creation of this tutorial takes a lot of my free time. To buy the app, go to the store hit the search button and in the search field type mobile dev vt which is short for mobile developers video tutorial you will see the app speed couch with white couch and green background in my next tutorial i will show you how to create an app like this use the gps to show your speed now let's get back to business let's start by running microsoft visual studio express 212 for Windows Phone. I will create a new project. I will choose Windows Phone app. Under solution name type app icon. The project will be placed in the directory under location. This means that the icon will be here too. I will copy this path. Name of the app will also be app icon. I will create this app for Windows Phone 8. In this tutorial I won't go into the code. We will just leave it be for now. Solution Explorer is this pane in the right. In Solution Explorer, expand the Assets folder. Application PNG file holds the default icon for the app. If you hover over it, you will see the preview of the icon. If you double click on it, it will open in paint. It is white and the background is transparent. In paint, transparent is rendered also as white, so it is a little hard to see. Under the assets, open up tiles folder. Here you can see tiles images. Click on the file cycle tile large.png. In the properties pane, there is full path property leading to this file. You can copy it to the clipboard. Open file explorer by pressing Windows key and E key together. Paste the location of the file to the address bar. Remove the file name at the end and hit enter. Now you can see the content of the folder containing tiles for our app. Hover over the images to see them. Go one level up and you can see the app icon contained in the application icon PNG file. So now you know how to find your project and its icon on your hard drive. The simplest way of changing the icon is to replace this file with a file containing new icon. Let's head back to Visual Studio. We will run the emulator. Windows could warn you that you don't have permission to run the emulator. You do need to have administrator privileges in order to run the emulator. The emulator is loaded, but our app is still not. There it is. Click the Windows button to get back to Windows Phone OS. Swipe to the left to go to Apps list. Notice that our app has name app icon and it has default white sun shape as the icon. I will press down on the app and pin it to the start screen. On the tile you can see the white sun again and title app icon. Stop the emulator and head back to Visual Studio. In Solution Explorer, under Properties, go to WM App Manifest XML file. Double click on it. Here you can see app icon. Also, you can choose which resolution your app supports. Under Tile Templates, you can choose the behavior of the tiles. I will open Graphics folder from my desktop. Earlier, I have created a black star icon. I will drag and drop it to the Assets folder. Since the old icon has the same name, Visual Studio asks me if I want to override the icon. Override the file. 
I can do the same with the files holding the graphics for the tiles. Just hit yes when asked if you want to overwrite files. Let's change the tile images. Click on the three dots button and navigate to the tiles folder. I have the path in my clipboard so I will paste it. Also, I will change title tile to string. I have changed this. And finally, change display name to app name. Let's run the emulator. Now you can see that app's name and icon are changed. The tile of the start screen still has an old icon and old tile title. We have to remove it from the start screen in order to refresh. There, now we have a new tile icon and new tile title. We still haven't discussed what is the format and the size of the icons. Microsoft has created nice article regarding this. Go to my blog mobiledevvt.blogspot.com. The link to my blog is in the description below this video. In my blog post referring to this video, you will find direct link to Microsoft Style Design Guides for Windows Phone article. There are a few useful information there. If you scroll all the way down, you will find icon templates for Windows Phone 8. It's basically a zip file, so click and download it. I will open my graphics folder because I already downloaded it. Open the assets template guide.pdf. It contains all the resolution information you need. Here is the application icon resolution. It says it should be 99 times 99 pixels. Also, there is 14 pixels of padding. There is more info here about the tiles, loading screen, flash screen, and more. Also, there is a PSD folder containing all the Photoshop templates. I don't have Photoshop, so I cannot open them. Files are useful. Everything is in its own layer, and you can use them to speed up creation of the graphical elements. Okay, that's all for now. If you like this tutorial, please consider buying Speed Gouge app. Thanks.